Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with J. Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, we're going to look at the concept of contra entry as it relates to the cash book. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify a contra entry from a list of transactions. We have a credit entry in the cash book relating to August 7th, and we have a debit entry in the cash book that is related to August 7th as well. Double entry is completed in the cash book. You know what this is, people? It is a contra entry, and our folio is C for the contra entry. So once you have both entries completed in the cash book, then that is a contra entry. So a contra entry is where the double entry is completed in the cash book because based on the transaction, your bank account is affected as well as your cash account. And remember, we use C to represent contra entry. Let's look at a few transactions to determine whether or not they are contra entry. The first one, August 10th, the proprietor withdrew $50 cash from bank for business use. Now, because it said that this cash was taken from the account, the bank account for business use, the two items affected are cash and bank. No. Because we have cash and bank affected by the same transaction, that is a contra entry. Let's put that into the cash book so you can see how to treat that. So that is August 10. We're going to withdraw the money from the bank account. So under the bank column, let's enter that $50. And the details is cash because that amount is under bank and cash is the other item that is affected. Let's use C to represent contra. So once your details is either cash or bank, then of course you know that that is a contra entry. And in that case, you have to have two entries of that transaction in the book. The double entry must be completed there. So on the debit side, we're gonna enter August 10th, Let's put this $50 in the cash account. So under cash, we enter 50. Our details is the other item, which is bank. And the folio is C to represent contra. Because bank is a details, you know that it is a contra entry because the other entry would be found in the cash book. And that is on the credit side. Let's look at another transaction. That is August 15, $1,000 cash deposited in the business bank account. The items affected by this transaction are cash, because the cash is now placed into the business bank account. The other item is bank. Now, because bank and cash are affected by the same transaction, that is a contra entry. Let's make that entry in the cash book. Those entries, basically the contra entry I'm talking about, that is August 15. Remember, a good way to deal with this is to reduce the account that must be reduced. So in this case, we're going to credit the cash account because the amount is coming from cash. Enter the amount under the account that you're taking the money from, so that is cash, and our details is the other item affected, which is bank. Our folio is C to represent contra, and the other entry must be placed in this very same book to complete that double entry. That is on the debit side. We're going to put this $1,000 in the business bank account. So August 15, put that $1,000 under the bank column, and then you can enter your details as cash, and the folio to complete that is C. Let's look at the other transaction that we have, and that is August 30th. The owner took $5,000 cash from bank for personal use. Yes, even though the owner took the cash from the bank, it cannot be cash and bank. It has to be bank, and because this is taken from for personal use from the business bank account, 
The other item affected is drawings because it is taken for personal use. So the two items are bank and drawings. Can we say that this is a contra entry? No, 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 no. Because we do not have cash and bank affected by that very same transaction. In this case, we only have bank that is affected. To make that entry in the cash book, because yes, it has to be there because the bank account is affected, we are going to put a credit entry because the bank account decreases. So it is August 30th. Our details is the other item affected, which is drawings. And the amount is coming from bank. So under the bank column, we're going to put that 5,000. And that entry is complete. The folio would be general ledger, can't be seen because our details is not cash or bank. Let's review the contra entries that we have in this cash book. We have August 7th, one entry on the right, one entry on the left. Double entry is completed right there because both debit and credit entries are in the same book. We also have August 10th, one entry on the right. The other entry is on the left. And because both entries are in the same book, that's contra entry. The other one that we have, yes, there's another one and that is August 15th, one entry on the right, one entry on the left. Double entry is completed right here because we have a debit entry and we have a credit entry for that very same transaction. That means it is a contra entry. So coming out of this cash book, there are three contra entries. Let's review what is a contra entry. A contra entry is the transfer of cash to the bank account or the withdrawal of cash from bank for business or office use. And guess what? These results in the completion of double entry in the same book. Basically, what, what are we saying? Both debit and credit entries are located in the same book. And that takes us to the end of our lesson on contra entry. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.